do so um but anyway so uh, let me talking about oh, oh yes you know okay that that's awesome um uh, because uh, she is a very, very special lady. Um, hey, Trisha, thank you. Happy birthday. Um, thank you very much. And uh, I did mention uh, that, um, that today is your birthday and you are a very, very special uh, lady. And what an honor that is to um, have the opportunity to celebrate with you. And, um, <laughs> and you know, just a sudden honor. You know, I, I always feel so good that in your presence. And um, Kelly, you I have done such a wonderful job from singing to um, uh, pay tribute to um, you know to celebrate Trisha, and um, I, I think that um, I think that you have done uh, done great, done good by by Trisha and for us too. And Miriam, hello sis, I'm glad that you are here. And so here is um, the message of um, yesterday, Donna talking about uh, what do you really want? See, the, the question is, what do you really want? Uh, T. Harv Eggers, who has said that, you know, most people do not get what they want because they sometimes they not exactly know what they want because they kind of want this, they kind of want that, but they don't know exactly um, what they want. So for this moment, I would like to encourage you to uh, really see the moment, uh, take this opportunity to choose um, growth, to happy, uh, happiness and to uh, prosperity because you deserve it. And then follow through it with a massive actions. And you know, do not, um, I see when you, when you want to um, talk about your goals, uh, talk it proudly and speak it with conviction because you know that what you want, you want your, what you want to be known by, not by the people that surround you, but by the universe as well. And I know that one time or another, you hear people talking about the law of attractions. See, law of attraction is a lot of people have a different take on the law of attraction. But I think that anything attracting is have a magnetic in order for them to attract something. So you attract to the thing that you want by the people you become. I think that what Jim Rohn has said, you know, uh, don't worry about to go after something, you need to grow yourself and be the person that attracting, um, you know, or the success or uh, your love interest. Because see sometimes that you want to go after somebody and because you said, okay, with that person, with that caliber, how can I attract it to her or how can she attract it to me? So grow yourself and let yourself be grow in that in order for you be worthy of um, the person with that uh, caliber. So uh, now and in order for um, you know for you to uh, to go for what you want, um, then you have to set goal. You you have to do something about that. You have to wanting something. You have to have the desire for that. And when you have the desire, make that to be known to all and for all that is that what you want and see when you say that that means you are so willingly to go after it because see when somebody just like they have some goals but they're just hiding they don't want to tell anybody they don't want to share with anybody because see when you tell somebody that is responsibility uh, come with it because people will hold you responsibility to um what you um what you want so therefore Go after what you want. Do not bend. Do not water it down. Do not make it to fit into uh, the mold that the, um, a lot of people, um, you know, defy for you. You know, you have to, you know, the framework, the logic, break all the rules because, you know, nowadays, um, you know that uh, risky is, um, is the new safe. And, you know, risky today is the norm. So in order for you to, to get what you want, you go after it, but you have to have a plan, you have to have a goal, you have to have the desire, and you have to be willing to work for it, and you're willing to roll up your sleeve and go after what you want. Now, I want to share with you a, um, a quote from uh, J.C. Penney, uh, the founder of J.C. Penney. He said that, give me a stock clerk with a goal, and I will give you a man who will make history. And give me a man without a goal, and I will give you a stock 
club. Do you know that well said? You know, in order for us to go somewhere, we must have the destination. Then like the goal is our intention. We have to have intention to see the outcome of our effort, what we want. And you know, when you want something, that want it, something big, something that excited you, and you have to enticing you in order for you to go out there and to work for it. Because you know, if the goal too so too too low, um, my mentor uh, Les Brown, he he always said that shooting shoot for the moon, even though you miss it, you still lay among the star. And you know, it's, uh, the the sad thing is, sometimes people set their goal too low, and they 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 hit the the target. But you know, when you set it so goal, the target not, was not worthy of hitting it. So therefore, set it a high goal and aim high, because if you miss it, you still lay among the star. So keep that in mind. And um, you know, yesterday Donna talking about. You, you know, she is, um, uh, I will have to tell you that she is a brilliant, brilliant young lady. And when she, she have, um, she bring in a few points and I keep on saying to her that she have the ability to um, wake up the genius in, uh, in a lot of people. And she really stir up the thought in my mind. And that's why I want to talking about, um, you know, not just so much about uh, what you want, but if you want badly enough, and then you, you're willing to work hard for it. Because see, you're not just the person wanting success. You have to demand for success. You have to obsess about the success. Because see, the obsess, uh, obsession is some people, most people are thinking about they want something you're obsessed with something really bad. But the truth of the matter is, you know, if, if you something that you obsess about, then that's something that you really focus in. And one thing at a time and the only thing that matter and you co go for it with all of your well-being with all of your might with everything you got and you know more likely you get it I will tell you that I met one of the um, uh, young men and he created a last thing uh, impressing upon me um, he has such a, a great vision uh, he is not just a dreamer, but he also has a great vision. If you sit down and you're asking him, you know, what is 10 years from now, he can tell you, he can paint the, the vivid picture of what his 10 years, his vision of the, the destination he arrived. He will tell you what it smells like, what it tastes like, and you know, he will, he have all the feel of, you know, knowing that that is his place, and he can hear it, he can, he, he can look around, he can turn around, he can tell you exactly the image, what he can see on his right, what on his left. And that is the, the magic of the, um, the goal setting and the power of uh, vi uh, visualizations. Because see, when you see it, you feel it you, definitely yours. That's a matter of when you get there. A dream is a goal, um, a, a dream is a goal, and it is also a reality waiting for you to get there. And I have met a lot of people and, you know, uh, I'm very fortunate. I met a lot of you here and I know that you guys certainly have a different uh, purpose and goal and dream you go after it. But um, that young man, um, I don't want to name his name, but he is certainly among the exceptional person who is... Um, uh, knowing what he wants, and he will do whatever that is. He will just like hold on that, and he will not waving. He will not because that where he go. He uh, he understand his approach. He um, at one point that he told me that um, the way he get there, he just like open, you know, to see if the what open out there. But he have a definite knowing where he get to. And that is the power of focus, to know where from where you are and where you want to get to. And this is the important is where you start and where you end up. The journey can be, um, uh, you know, sometimes that you go on the highway, you have to take a detour in order for you to get back there. But because he has such a discipline and I know that he will make his way back in order uh, for him to get to where he needed to.
and you know, and I, I can, um, you know, today if I have the permission, I would want to uh, speak about uh, some other people too. Um, for instance, um, Kelly. You know, she she know where she started. I mean, she have her struggle, she have her journey, she have her challenge, but she definitely know that what is the intended outcome. She act, you know, she really have the view and the see and she want to see it, what happened and that is the, the the magic of you know knowing what you want and you know knowing where you are going for where you are coming from and then where you are getting to and that is keep her on going and because see sometimes you know the journey up and down and sometimes you're discouraged by it but because of you know the you you know your purpose because you know your you know your mission and you keep on going you keep on going and just because um, with the, the the picture of the people that she can help it is just the few to keep put her in engine and keep her going and you know I, I I don't know when but she certainly will reach her destination and she certainly will change life. Now, and um, Trisha, I, I, I adore her. Trisha have, um, because these she project life through her heart. And, you know, I mean, I don't think that Trisha ever said anything bad about anybody. And when she projecting everything through her heart, everything is just right. It, it right because that's how she look into it. She just finds something good about people, something decency about people from her from her journey, from her purpose, from her mission. She she have a different um, uh, desire, the purpose, and she know exactly what you, she need to, de to do. Even though she is not a doctor, but I will tell you she is a healer because the way she talk before, because the way she touch, she can bring the comfort and help other people. Um, and Mariam, and Mariam is somebody that, um, uh, you know, I, I adore, and for some reason that um, we just uh, connect, and and I'm telling you, she is the person that very kind and very genuine, and she is, um, uh, she understands what is her purpose is about, you know, after raising her children, and now she care for um, the grandchildren, uh, the, the granddaughter, and everything that is, and she know that is her purpose, and her purpose will be served, and then at one point, you know, you're talking about one child, but that child can change the world, and that is through that girl, she will accomplish a great thing. Because see, sometimes we do things and we forgot that we look into, into the people and we're thinking that we just do things for somebody, but actually they are the conduits, you know, from where we are, you know, sometimes that they are the person to help you help many people. And that um, what I uh, what I love of Miriam, and um, uh, you know, if you have a conversation with her, she just so uh, phenomenal. And Sage, um, you know, I, I have not had a conversation with Sage, but Sage is just like somebody always be there for me, and uh, he always give me the word of encouragement, and whatever that is, um, the conversation we have, whatever uh, that the, the topic on my scope, uh, she, he always be there and tell me, this is a good one, that's a great message, huh? And it just, um, you know, make me feel good because it's sometimes that um, I need to hear that because it's sometimes when you're talking uh, on the scope and you just pretty much on, on by yourself, but then when somebody gives you the feedback and say from time to time, he sent me the message on the um, uh, Twitter's um, direct message and he, he tell 